I watched the debate, but I watched through hours of reactions to the presidential debate. And I gotta say, they are hilarious. And in this video, I'm taking some of the best stuff, uh, some of the funniest stuff, and some of the most alarming things. And, you know, maybe we get some conspiracy theories going on here. But essentially, this first one is a zoom in shot of Jill Biden leading Joe off the debate stage. This is the first, very first reaction that we get. And you, President Trump you just kind of really stage. see uh, the Trump first walked of the off. Campaign in the early and then. Um, Jill Biden has kind of like got his got her hand on him and tonight, along with Aaron Burnett, the first leading him off here. From our and political professionals from our CNN yeah, there you go. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this one, you know, you don't want him to fall. You don't want to fall. So I'm glad he's safe. <laughs> I'm glad he's safe. And uh, you see here, Jill, after that, they went to like some kind of spot, like after party or something like that. And he starts, she starts gassing him up and then this is what Jill says about Joe. Answered every question you knew all the time. <laughs> Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question you knew all the time. Look how happy he is. Oh gosh, it was like, it was like, yay, Joe, you got all the questions. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, how would I do with my three-year-old? Like, yeah, good job. And he, I mean, he's so happy. Look, look at it. Look how happy he is. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. Afterwards, of course, they get hungry. So they go to the Waffle House, right? The quick stop at the Waffle House because your boy Joe, he's one of the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's trying to... <laughs> <laughs> he is he he is that dude. He's trying to, you know, he's trying to go. Here's the here's a live footage of him going to the wall. Waffle House here. You can see just the crowd just going crazy for him. Look at this guy. This guy is in the front really not. Look at this. Your boy dapping him up. <laughs> this guy is <laughs> that guy is that guy is no, no way no way just complete I mean, yeah, this, this is rough. you know I feel bad honest quite honestly he's like being paraded around and she's not even trying to shake his hand these people aren't shaking his hand you'd think the president knights that they would get up and shake this man's hand and get try to get a selfie try to get a hug no <laughs> one is doing that. but they try to get their chicken sausage yeah i mean it, it makes sense like you want a particular type of vote you'd go to you know <laughs> <laughs> you go to the Albertos down the street. You go to the, you know, China Walk Two. You go. <laughs> let's go to the Waffle House and let's <laughs> let's go to the Waffle House. Uh, and then you could see the reactions of people even at the Waffle House, which is hilarious. Um, from this lady here in the front, in the foreground, uh, speaking with Joe Biden. And I mean, you see the eyes. You watch your eyes. Hold on. The economy, the border, or was it? Her eyes nearly rolled up out of her head. Oh, golly. I mean, there's only so much I could laugh at. He here, goes right? through six days of preparation at Camp David. More than that. And they know the rules. It was more than a week. Okay. They, and so more than. So they're talking about the preparation that Joe Biden had over a week's worth with all the questions prepared in hand, ready to roll in. A week. They know the rules. He practices with the mics. He knows every one of these questions is coming. And yet he couldn't fill the time. Now, they, I, I just want to, let's see what the White House is saying. Sources close to the White House are saying he had a cold, wasn't feeling well. I mean, as you would expect, that came out early on in the debate. But what accounts for someone with so much experience doing so much I, preparation I think, and this I being think, the outcome? Honestly, I think the question answers itself. He wasn't capable of doing any better than he did. Yeah, wow. Jeez. The CNN is starting to bury him. You could see more of that here. Oh, he should have turned it over. That the two of them decided after November of 2022 that he was going to seek the presidency when there were so many people who thought he should have turned it over to a new generation. And this has been, quite frankly, a, a, a car accident in slow motion that we've seen over and in building and questioning it and... You know, as as has been pointed out, 
Joe Biden sought this debate at this remarkably early time because he knew he was losing and he needed to change the narrative. Yep. And he did change the narrative. He sunk his campaign tonight. The- Woo, man. Sunk his campaign. And then uh, here's what she's saying. She's saying there's gonna, there's backdoor talks right now. And there is a conversation happening um, inside Biden's circle and certainly a much more frank conversation happening inside the Democratic coalition. And I think there will be stories of a lot of concern about the performance tonight. And I think what... When you say conversations happening, what do you mean? I think people are talking. I think the conversations range from whether he should be in this race tomorrow morning to what was wrong with him. I mean, he has a cold and there is a conversation. I mean, that's tough. You know, like conversations right now talking about replacing him. He's not fit. And quite honestly, I mean, he's he's old. He's an old man. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing? Why are we parading everyone left, right? They're, they're, they, they've, we all know that this is it. I haven't, I've seen hours of these, of these reactions. I haven't seen a single person saying, wow, you know, well done, Joe. Wow. That was, uh, you know, he was sharp. Not a single one. And the whole time the split screen is killing Biden yep. because he's got his mouth open. This is a liberal, this is a liberal outlet right here. And he looks confused, doesn't know where he is. He's lost his train of thought at least twice in like disastrous shape. Those are gonna be played a billion times in viral video after viral video. So this is an epic disaster. It like I see uh, people online saying, well, okay, that answer wasn't so bad. No, it doesn't, any particular answer doesn't matter at all. This thing is over. He looks like he's barely surviving. I don't mean the debate, I mean life. <laughs> and so there's no person that has a single brain cell left in their head who thinks that Joe Biden is the best candidate to take on Donald Trump. You would have to be even crazier than Donald Trump to think that. This thing is over, over, it's, I'll guarantee you this. I, I would bet any, show me a Democratic politician and I will bet them any amount of money that Joe Biden's gonna lose this election if he's the candidate. It's a guaranteed loss. You're telling me this is the most important election of our lifetimes? You're telling me that democracy's on the line and you're gonna put on a guy who can't even talk, who can't even sit there and look normal. This thing's a bloodbath. He's going to get annihilated. That is okay. Now the Democrats have to decide: Are they happy to lose? Are they willing to lose? Because this is a guaranteed loss. Oh my goodness! You couldn't put it. I mean, Chenk, do it down. I mean, that's pretty harsh. At one point, you know, like I'm not trying to, like I'm not, I'm really not. If that was my grandpa, I would not want people talking to me about this, but. He is literally just being a puppet, just thrown up there. And so everyone's talking about replacing him. And I think this is the front, one of the front runners. You got Michelle Obama, you got Gavin Newsom, you got um, um, Kamala Harris. Like, who, who, are you, who are you throwing up there? To me, this seems like the most logical choice. Um, at least he could speak, you know, he's well groomed, got slick back hair, and ran, runs California. And it would make a lot of sense. Let's hear his reaction, Gavin Newsom. You were out there getting a chorus of questions about whether Biden should step down. There is panic that has set in. Uh, uh, Well, there is panic that has set in among people who have watched this debate, who are Democrats, people who are strategists, and some even inside Democratic campaigns. Do you think it's unfounded? Well, I think it's unhelpful, uh, and I think it's unnecessary. Uh, We've got to go in and got to keep our heads high. And as I say, we've got to have the back of this president. You don't turn your back because of one performance. What kind of party does that? It's been a master class, 15.6 million uh, uh, jobs. That's eight times more than the last three Republican presidents combined. The only thing the last three Republican presidents have in common is recessions. Democrats deliver. This president is delivered. We need to deliver for him at this moment. With all due respect, the more time we, 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 we start having these conversations go down these rabbit holes, it's unhelpful to our democracy, our fate and future of this country, the world. They need us right now to step up, and that's exactly what I intend to do. Yeah, he's you were out there getting 100%. a course. He's a hundred percent. He's a hundred percent running. There is no doubt about it. That's when you're like backing up your boy, or you know when you when you like a girl, when you like a girl, and your boy likes the same girl, and he's like, "Yeah, my boy, he's the best. He's the best." But you're like, "I want you to pick me." <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching. Check out the other video with more reactions. There was just so many. Um, it, it's it's also good. We are we're living in quite the time. What a time to be alive. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.